Hello again, this is Alex from phpacademy.org producing this video for the new Boston. Now, in the last uh, file handling example, we looked at appending data and we created um, this form here, uh, which appended data to the end of this file here. Um, and so far, we've appended four names. Now, what happens if we want to read in this data? I want to read in each name and display them to the user. And what we're going to do is we're going to create this inside this process here. Um, so uh, when they submit a new name, it just reproduces a list of the current names. And I don't want to reproduce a list of it um, line on a line by line basis. I want to produce it um, separated by commas. Now you may look at this file and think, how are we going to do this? Because they're not separated by commas, they're on a line by line basis. Well, we have various functions that allow us to open files and read in on a line by line basis. Now remember using the for each uh, statement, we can use that um, again here. So what I'm going to do is underneath here, I'm going to create a little section for myself to read this file in. Um, in fact, we can do it under the F close. It'd probably be a lot better. So let's create um, a, a variable called read in. Uh, this is going to be using the file function. This time we're not using F open, we're just using file. And what we can do is we can specify a file here. And we're going to specify the file type of R, so we're reading that data in. So that is obviously going to be names.txt. So uh, let's just add another name to the list and just double check if this works properly. Um, so uh, Sandra, click submit. Uh, expects parameter 2 to be long. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So we're basically just reading this in. We're using the far function to read this in. There's no need to use uh, this. Um, because we're reading in a line by line basis, we're using this far function uh, rather than f open. So um, for now, just stick to uh, this far function and uh, we're going to read it in that way. So uh, let's refresh that. Um, actually, that, that will have written. So let's just t check back on that. Okay, yes, we've got Sandra added to the end of the list. So um, our goal is to read it, read the file in which we've done. Uh, now what we want to do is use for each, okay? And we want to say read in as name, okay? So, or, or, um, or F name we'll call it because it's the name within the file. So now what we can do uh, with standard notation with the for each, we can echo out this F name each time. And then what we can do is we can append a comma onto the end of it. So the process goes, um, we uh, start a variable called read in. We use the file function to read in this names.txt file. What this will do, this function will do, is it will read in the line on a, a read in the file, sorry, on a line by line basis. There are other ways to do this, but they're a bit more complicated. Um, however, this is the easiest way possible. Now, what we're doing is we're using a for each statement, and we're using the um, array that's been read in, and we're using this array, each element of this array as f name. Then we're echoing our f name with a comma. So above this, we could write current names in file, and then that should uh, echo them out. Um, now, you'll probably notice that when we run the script, we're going to have an extra comma after the list. Um, so let's just uh, try and add another name to this and see what happens. Uh, so I'm going to say Dan, and I'm going to click Submit. Now you'll see it says current names in file, Alex, comma, Billy, comma, Stephen. Uh, at the moment it's not looking too great. So let's just tidy that up. We need to, um, first of all, see what's going on here. Now Alex has a space after it, as does Billy, as does every other uh, name in the list. And we can use a function called trim to trim this down. And this removes white space from the start and the end of um, our name as well as any other special characters so just by adding this function around the name as we echo it we can see that it's actually um, if we add another name in let's say uh, uh, Josh submit you can see that it's removed that white space now what we can do is we can just get rid of uh, or add a space in after that um, we'll add another name in, let's say uh, Dale. 
Okay, so now you can see that it's displaying properly. Now what we need to do is we need to analyze um, this problem that we've got with a comma at the end here. So um, as well as reading a file in in this tutorial, we want to actually read it in properly and display things properly. So we need a way of counting all the elements in this um, in this text file. And we can do that with the count function. So I'm going to create a new variable here called read in count, and that's going to equal count, uh, a function count, and we're going to input the read in um, array, which is created from this here. So we're counting uh, the values in the array. Now what we can do is get rid of this, and we can start an if statement here. Now I'm going to say if um, ca uh, count doesn't equal read in count, and we're going to say echo comma, and then a space after me afterwards. Sorry. So what's happening here? We're counting the elements in the array, and each element in the array is a name. So we're counting the names as essentially. Let's just declare uh, this count variable up here as zero. Okay, so um, if count, which is this here, uh, doesn't equal read in count, then echo that. Then we need to count plus plus at the end. So we're incrementing this count value each time. This will be zero, one, two, three, all the way up to the amount of names that are in the list. Then when we reach the last one, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to um, show the comma. So let's add another name in. Um, let's say uh, Peter. Click submit. Oh, it actually has. Okay. Um, so let's. Uh, fix this so if count let's look, think about this logically if count doesn't equal reading count if count is smaller than um, or greater than yeah it'll be smaller than so if count is smaller than reading count um, let's add another name to the list um, we'll just do Daniel this time and click submit Oh dear. Okay. Um, hmm. Um, count is one. Let's change that to one, perhaps. I think that might be the problem. We'll just keep adding Daniel. There we go. Okay. So after a bit of fiddling around, um, what we've done is we have created um, a variable called count um, and assigned the value of one. Then we incremented this each time, but just before this, we've created a check to see if the count is smaller than the amount of um, elements in this fast, the amount of names. Um, and if it is smaller, then that means that's fine. We can uh, e we can echo out a comma. Otherwise, if we've got to the last element in the array, then um, we want to not. Not we would we don't want to echo a comma because it's silly echoing a comma in the end. So after this uh, tutorial and me making a couple of mistakes and correcting myself, I'm sure you've learned a thing or two. So that's the end of this tutorial um, about reading in uh, files with PHP.